Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The SBC that everybody was worried about yesterday did arrive in this game. It is the base icon upgrade. It was released as expected and it moved the market like crazy. I wanna take a look at the aftermath of how this market has been affected by the base icon upgrade SBC, the 78 plus player picks that we got yesterday and our actual first two player SBCs we got yesterday, two icon player SBCs with Okocha and Closa, which I think nobody was expecting this as well. The content right now in FIFA is just crazy, like unexpected preview packs, unexpected SBCs. It's wild. And I'm really curious to see how that affects people's minds and kind of like the vibe of the market this week, especially with the past two days being so crazy. I think that is going to move some of the market every single day this week. So we'll talk about that in this video as well. By the way, if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, make sure to hit a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you're new around here. But this SBC, of course, was rumored. It was leaked. We expected it. And it did arrive. Now, the, the way EA priced this is they priced this at a point where it's right in that middle value. It's like, it's not cheap, but it's not too expensive. You can make an argument for doing it or you can make an argument against it. I'm gonna make the argument against it nine times out of 10 because it's a gamble pack and it's 500,000 coins, just a little bit less uh, to do this from scratch. If you can do it with some fodder, okay. If you have some untradables in the club, but it's a big gamble, right? We opened a couple on stream. We, we got a, a Cafu um, and then we also got a Law Drip. So like you can see there's a, there's a wide majority of players i saw a lot of people packing like the bobby moores and those types of icons from this sbc these gamble sbcs especially when it's a 500k sbc at this stage of the game 500k this year is a lot you can buy think of the team that you can buy at the price of this sbc with the way the market is this year crazy right that's another reason to stay away from it but of course people love these sbcs so they go out and they do them. Now, I want to talk about fodder straight off the bat because, of course, you can't talk about a big icon SBC without talking about SBC fodder. A lot of the fodder didn't move on the lower tier end. But as we had seen before with previous SBCs being released, the higher tier of the fodder, the 87s, the 88s, the 89s, especially like your Lewandowski, uh, your, your 91 Oblak, your Harry Kane, and your Neuer, some of the extra high rated fodder, this stuff is absolutely banging in price. I mean, take a look at, at Holland right now, 29,000 coins after starting the day, after already being invested in 24, the SBC comes out and he continues to go higher with that, of course, demand being there for the SBC. Now, Holland was 19,000 coins on Sunday and so he's basically up 10,000 coins per card. All of these 88 rateds are up like 10K a card. The 89s are up a lot as well. Ederson, 37,000 coins. These guys are up like 10K a card. So if you have some of the high rated fodder, you made a lot of coins. Now for the other fodder, the 86s, they stayed pretty stagnant. They stayed pretty stagnant. If you take a look at the index, I'm gonna watch the index 86 because this is really interesting. Um, a lot of people that invest in fodder, you know, they always sell the fodder right away when the SBC comes out. So 86 is you saw the index go from 94 points down to 82. And it's kind of rebounded back a little bit, right? You've seen some of these fodder cards actually rebound back just a little bit in price. Could that continue into today? Honestly, I think so. Now, the biggest thing that we're going to talk about today is again, supply, right? The only tradable supply for packs that was on the game yesterday. There were no tradable pack supply SBCs. There was a defy the norm untradable pack. There were no preview packs in the store except for the regular 7.5K pack. The only tradable supply that we had yesterday were these packs from inside this icon SBC. That was the only thing that put brand new cards on the market. Um, so a lot of why you didn't see like 84s, 85s and 86s go up is because there was a lot of investing on those. People sold those cards when the SBC came out and the prices, you know, the demand and supply kind of met in the middle and a lot of those prices didn't move that much. Now, I believe 85s, if we go back here and check this the 85 graph out, I believe the 85s are kind of rebounding back up. They were at 133 points on the index, went back down to 115. Now they are kind of up a little bit still to 121. And if you just look at their prices in general, 85s at 6,000 coins, 6.8, almost 7K. Yeah, these guys are up in price. So if you bought fodder on the weekend, you are chilling, right? And you're making some coins. And again, that just makes us think, is this going to go higher later on throughout the week? Really? I'm not sure, right? The SBC content is so good in this game right now. I would be inclined to hold it and see if it goes higher. But 
um, you know, EA can again drop preview packs anytime. So that's a really tough call with some of those cards. And it's also a really tough call with some of these just popular gold metas. Because yesterday, with the SBC being where it was and with the amount of panic selling that we saw on the market, right? I'm going to talk about this hour of death, right? There was a crazy hour early in the day on Monday. Basically, it was like 9 to 11, somewhere in that range, 9 to 11 a.m. UK time. It must have been just like the UK woke up and said, I'm selling all my cards. And then an hour later, they were like, man, this is too cheap. I'm going to go buy this stuff. I mean, it was crazy the panic that you saw on some of these gold cards. And I, I want to show you how some of the market has rebounded, right? Take a look at Ronaldo. He was 828,000 coins. If you look at Sunday, we had, of course, we had the preview packs. So Ronaldo went from 880 down into the low 800s, back up, and then started sliding in price into the nighttime and then really dropped into the morning on Monday because of that panic selling for the Icon SBC that was rumored. And then he reached a low of, he was actually under 700K. But then people said, man, that's too cheap. They went back, bought him up. He went over 800K. And then his price went back down. He was actually in the low 700s again, right around the content drop. And he rebounded back to 813. There's just been a ton of up and down movement on a lot of these cards in the past day. One of my favorite cards to look at is actually this Di Natale. It was 800,000 coins at the moment. But take a look at this roller coaster ride, right? Of course, last night when we looked at him on the video, he was like 830K. He went all the way down to 682 in that crazy, you know, hour of panic. Really, for a lot of the high tier meta cards and for a lot of the cards on the game, this hour or two of panic right here was the lowest for the entire market all day because Di Natale never went down really below 700,000 coins. He never really went below 700K again as he rebounded from 682 to 789, back to 744, and then up over 800,000 coins, and then now kind of sliding down a little bit into the nighttime. Now, what's going to happen with these prices as we head throughout the week this week? That's one thing that I want to talk about as well is I want to talk about the icons and the meta cards and the gold cards. You know, like some of these other gold cards, you have to think about this too. There was a lot of supply put on the market on Sunday. With the 50K packs, this Ferland Mendy, you know, he was 89,000 coins. With all of the La Liga hype, the links to Vinicius Jr.'s new inform, um, French left back, of course, Mendy being one of those best cards in the game. There's so much hype for this card right now. He went from 65K last week to 89,000 coins before the crazy supply. Uh, and, and now he's, he, you know, he's still down at the 71K range. Are these cards going to rise up to where they were? Honestly, I think no. I really don't think that since the, so much supply happened on Sunday and since so many coins were taken off the game, do you realistically expect Messi to go back to 600,000 coins? I do not. I mean, right now, Messi's 530K. He was 480,000 coins at his absolute lowest earlier yesterday in the panic he's like right now about 520 i really don't think that you're going to see this market rebound back to prices that it was before now you might have a few um you know variations from that you actually there's one that i can think of right now base blanc baby blanc's card was like 900,000 coins before the icon sbc panic and everything started he's back to 920k but this card Yesterday on Monday, in that panic selling, in that crazy hour, right? You can see here, crazy hour of panic. He went down to 792, back up to 852, back down to 790 again. And then once the SBC rose, he just started to fly. Because again, people thought they were going to pack this card from the SBC. No shot, right? No shot you're packing a card like Blanc. Same thing happened with like Baby Van Persie, a new icon this year. FIFA 22 went down to 740. Rose back up 100K to 856, went back down to 760 again, and then rose up to where he is now, like 850, 860K. The biggest fluctuations that you saw on the market yesterday were on some of these icons and some of your out of pack uh, specials. Take a look at 90R9. This guy had a pretty crazy ride as well. He was like 2.3 million coins on Sunday, went down to about 2 mil flat almost, and then rebounded to basically 2.3 mil. And right now he's even down a little bit. That's the one thing I want to talk, continue to talk about though, right? Is this market going to return even close to where it was before Sunday? As you can see here, Baby R9 was 2.3 mil. A lot of these cards, I really don't think they're going to get close. Only a few cards, maybe some of your out of pack specials um, that have got that have gone down in price might rebound back to where they were before the weekend. I just think that there's so many coins being drained off of this game right now with 
this icon SBC, so many coins were lost on Sunday with the 50k packs of people selling cards from their team and the panic selling that occurred yesterday and now you have a 78 plus player pick that is out for the next couple of days with rule breakers in packs and this base icon SBC out that people are crafting alongside of so many other SBCs there's just a huge huge push for SBCs uh right now in this in this game I thought Mara's got a, a dynamic image he has one on footbin doesn't show one here but anyways there's just so many SBCs that are out right now. I don't think this market really is going to explode later on this week. The only thing that I could maybe see happening later on this week is maybe some of these prices on some of these gold cards rising back up a little bit again if there's just no content. But it would be really strange for me to see the insane content that we've had recently just come to a screeching halt this week, right? Again, we've got season milestone rewards and a new season coming later on this Friday. As you can see, it's, it's kind of behind the face cam, but we only have two days left. People are starting to worry about what is going to happen to the market with the season rewards. Now, I mean, I'm going to be completely honest. We'll talk about that later this week. Those are all untradeable rewards. For So for me, I don't think it's going to be an insane market impact, but even right now, people can't play foot champs. Uh, if you go in here and go to quick quick uh, foot champs qualifying you're going to get an error message and there's been some information from ea on this uh you said we're aware around the messaging players have received when trying to enter the foot champions mode we'll look to share a full update later they said they're still working to restore access to playoffs updates will come when more information is available so like right now there's probably even less demand for people to go out and buy teams and to use cards because this foot champions qualifying mode is shut down. So that is one thing to me that since we've had a nice market rebound on some of these icons, even some of the ones that I bought, like Middle Zola. Middle Zola is an icon that I bought. I got a really crazy price uh, when he was down super duper low. I got one at 570,000 coins. I believe right now he's around 660, 670K. So he's up like 100K from his lowest of lowest points. Um, but, I mean, I'm trying to get this card out tonight because if you take a look at some of these other listings on the market, there's a lot of supply. Take a look at all these Zolas, right? There used to be, before this weekend, Zola would only have like one page or, you know, two to three pages on the market, one page, about 50K up from where his price uh, usually was sitting. But take a look at these. A lot of these cards, if you take a look at icons on the market, especially with the Zola right now, look at how many of these have no games played for their current club. These are cards that are being trying that are trying to be flipped by traders right now i'm one of them that's trying to flip this zola right now but this zola card would be one that i would keep an eye on because there's so many traders if there is panic heading into the 6 p.m content time today um you know you're gonna see some people start to sell some cards off because again that's the thing i want to talk about heading into this week and going forward as well is you're going to have so many people that are going to continue to be scared with content on this market with, oh my goodness, today they could drop preview packs, which is true. And since we just had so many people losing coins from that content that EA put out with preview packs, I think what you're going to see is even more so every single day around 6 p.m. UK time, when we head into the content drop, you're going to see people selling special cards, selling icons, and selling golds. People are going to be selling cards every single day before 6 p.m., just because there's this fear that EA is going to destroy the market today with whatever day that that is, whatever content might be being released. So uh, that that's one reason for me where I'm kind of looking to take the coins on some of the cards that I bought. If you bought icons yesterday, icons, meta golds like the Mbappe, like the Ronaldo, the Neymar, those were the best movements, right? I bought a base Kaká. He's actually down a little bit right now. He was a little over 800K. I bought one at 717, and those are my biggest flips from yesterday for sure. Now, of course, there were some other cards, non-icons or non-goals that did very, very well. Uh, Vinny Jr.'s Informs, right? Vinny Jr. Inform out of packs, the 83. This guy was 160,000 coins. I bought three of them last night at 155. Uh, and he's now back up to 189. I sold mine too early at 175. So some of these really, really meta cards had a really nice rebound, and I'm not shortchanging any of that rebound, right? Take a look at like another elite tier card in this game, Ginola. Ginola was 1.79 million coins, and right now he is 2 mil. He's rebounded back almost 300,000 coins. I mean, I got a shot Mbappe because Mbappe had one of the stupidest rises stupidest panic sells and then rises that I, that you will ever see on this game it's just because of how overly 
incredibly overpowered this card is. And now he's back down a little bit, right? 1.435. But take a look at this Mbappe. I just I just have to show you this graph because it's ridiculous, right? Mbappe was 1.4, 1.47 went down to 127. In the course of two hours, this man dropped 200K, the best card in the game, then rose back to 1.45. He was down in the one threes again, and then actually went up to 1.5. Now, this is one thing I want to point out as well. When you are on this game, there are a couple peak points every single day on the market. For a lot of these cards, as we're looking at peak prices on the day, take a look at this. Basically, two to three hours after content, 1.487. This Mbappe hits his peak price. Di Natale, who we just looked at, he hit his peak price at literally the exact same time. Boom. A couple hours after content, literally two to three hours after content, these guys are rising up and hitting their peak prices. So as we go forward today on Tuesday, if prices slide off a little bit in the morning, I'm talking about the gold meta market. I'm talking about the rule breakers cards. Uh, some of these guys had some nice rises. Bamba, right, had a really nice rise. He's up like 25,000 coins. He was down at 94K. And then even again, he dropped below 100 at the SBC drop. And then since there wasn't a ton of supply, look where he peaked. Two to three hours after the content, 128K. And then it slightly dipped off after that. So what I want you guys to be looking for throughout the rest of this week is to see some of these cards, whether they are you know out of pack specials, whether they are icons, whether they are gold metas, what you can kind of do every single day is watch these cards around the 6 p.m. time frame. And if you want to risk it a little bit, or even if you see that we don't have good content, what you can do is go back out on the market, pick up some of these cards that you think might be rising. Like Phil Foden was 420K yesterday. He actually hit like 430, I think, at one point, And he's now back down to 400,000 coins. If this is like 380 tomorrow, right before the content drop, and we don't get any pack supply SBCs, what you might do uh, is is watch for you know getting that card right around that 6 p.m. time frame when the price is low and then watching it rise a couple hours after that as people go out and they play games because people are what they're doing now is they're buying cards and holding them for a very short amount of time and then they are selling them right I just don't think people trust the market right now and I think you're just going to see more and more daily fluctuations like this that you're going to be able to trade with on this game. So again, watch watch out for these icons, right? Be very careful with some of these icons if you've traded with them. Like this baby Zola was down at 700,000 coins flat. He went a little bit over 800K and is now back down under, under 770. And I bet if you take a look at some of these cards too, yeah, you can see zero pl games played for the current club on this card. You know, that, that for me says that it's a trader because that's the person that bought the card and listed it right back up for a flip. So just be careful with some of these icons and some of the rest of this market. Again, we just have to remember that it's so very supplied right now at the moment, whether it's hero cards, uh, like Abedi Pele is another one. I know I'm just shouting out so many examples. Uh, Abedi Pele was down at 700,000 coins flat. And during like the market hour of death, uh, like that 9 a.m., 10 a.m. UK time, this guy was like 600 and something crazy thousand coins. I actually want to look at this because he rebounded. He had a really, really nice rebound. I'm gonna just going to take a look at it really quick over here on the left. Uh, Abedi Pele went from, he was down at 630K, 630, and he went back up to 760 at a peak. So again, I don't think you're going to see prices during that hour of death hit again for at least another week or two. Uh, the next time that we have like the Black Friday panic start to creep in. But the main things I want you guys to remember, like the aftermath of this SBC and of the space icon is right now people are losing coins every single day because they're doing player picks like gold non rares or like, you know, 650, K, 650 coins a piece because people are doing these player picks. The base icon upgrade fodder is rising. People are going to chip away at this over the next couple of days. Uh, and, you know, the SBCs right now are just the hype on this game. And there's less gameplay demand with Foot Champions qualifiers being, you know, unavailable at the moment. So that's why I think that, yes, you've seen a nice bounce back on a lot of this market. But if you have some cards, that, especially if you're just trading with them, I would really advise taking the coins on some of those cards. That's why I sold the Vinny Juniors. I even sold them a bit early. Um, you know, I would advise taking the coins on some of that stuff. Now, this is what I have right now. I've got the Zolas, the Kaká, the Sanchez. I've got the Rudiger that I bought when he was in packs. I have a Trent that I'm hoping rebounds back a little bit. That's going to end up being a little bit of a loss. So I'm losing some coins right with you guys, uh, but we're going to make it back, right? We're going to get a hold of these new market trends and start flipping cards. And there's probably going to be some movements today on Tuesday, depending on what the content is 
that we'll be able to trade with. So I'm excited for that, but it was a massive, massive day of content yesterday uh, and a ton of market movements. Again, I think the things we have to remember is less coins are on the game now. There was a lot of supply put on the market and I'm just unsure at, you know, the people on the game wanting to just buy a lot of cards. I don't think you're gonna see a lot of prices skyrocket today on Tuesday. I think it's just gonna be pretty stagnant. Maybe a few kind of drops into the 6 p.m. time frame that we could be able to trade with. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.